I'm Willem Verbeek, um, local Chillicothe photographer. <laughs> that we can't keep that in there. <laughs> I'm joined here today by Willem, Lucas, and Corey. And uh, we've been walking around Chillicothe all day. We've been to roast coffee a few times because that's how we do it. And uh, I've just been walking around shooting photos with these guys and we are never all in the same place at once and we wanted to make something and I didn't really have a plan other than just us walking around shooting photos and we didn't really film anything in particular but I'm gonna let these guys tell you what they're shooting with today and uh, yeah you can enjoy some of the photos and just us hanging out shooting photos. My name is Corey, and today we just came out to Chillicothe, Ohio to meet up with Matt. And I brought my Yashica T5, which is one of my favorite point and shoots, shooting some HP5 because I dare not disrespect Matt. <laughs> and then I brought my Mamiya 7 as well with the 65mm lens, shooting some HP5 in color today. So, the classic combo. So I've been shooting with the Pentax 6.7 today. I have not been shooting this camera as much. Uh, just the last couple of weeks I've brought it out more, but um, today I knew I was gonna wanna shoot some portraits of all these guys that we've been hanging out with. And uh, I figure I would choose this over the Mamiya 6 just because I like SLRs for portraits more. And with the 105 lens, it's kind of perfect for that. So that's what I've been shooting with. And I also brought my SX70, so I think I'm gonna shoot some portraits of these guys with that as well. And someone, you know, Yo, do you want me to showcase my <laughs> Corey's also shot some SX70 portraits. So I don't know how to focus an SLR, and also, this was my one opportunity to get photos of Matt Day on an SX70, which is a pretty rare opportunity. And as you can see, I uh, did not do that well. Some bent Polaroid, some out of focus <laughs> Polaroid and some underexposed, out-of-focus Polaroid. This is art. So, yeah, came all the way to Chillicothe, hung out in roasts for four hours, and uh, didn't come through for the squad. So my name is Lucas Wyman. I came up from Knoxville to hang for the day. Been shooting some portraits on the RB. Just picked it up a couple weeks ago. So it's been real fun. And then been walking around with my classic Fujika GW690 II. Little medium format camera, shoots six by nine negatives. It's a good time. You should check it out. What's up, I'm Willem. I'm shooting with Corey's other Mamiya 7. He has two of these, so I'm borrowing this one for the week up here in Chillicothe, Ohio. He's got the 80 millimeter lens on here, which is a focal length that I'm used to. Put about six rolls through this camera up here in Ohio, which is kind of ridiculous, but it's just too easy to shoot with this thing. 
What else are your, uh, what are your thoughts on Chillicothe, dude? Dude, this might have to be my new hometown. I love Chillicothe. I'm gonna hit up the tourism board out here. <laughs> that was my joke! Did you make it? You made it in the video? Huh? Bro, I made that joke in the car. Did you really? I think I made that joke. Well, if you couldn't tell, we weren't really planning anything for this particular video. We didn't get together just for the sake of making a video. We just wanted to get together so we could actually hang out and shoot photos and just have a good time. I've known Corey for a couple of years now through Instagram, and we've only recently started to get to know each other a lot better. And Willem, I've really only gotten to know just throughout this year through YouTube, and he's become a really good friend of mine since then. And Lucas, I actually just met for the first time once they showed up in Chillicothe. So it was great for all of us just to get together, shoot some photos, and kind of show them around a little bit of my life here in Chillicothe. So I hope you enjoyed all the photos from all of us as we were walking around and just some of the conversations we were having and uh, hopefully it just kind of got you inspired to go and shoot with more of your friends and uh, I really appreciate this community aspect that film photography has created, especially here on YouTube and on Instagram as well. Um, but I would like to be able to do more stuff like this in person because I rarely get a chance to do that. Um, I'm here in Chillicothe, Ohio where I'm not really in the hub of the uh, photography world so it was really cool to be able to do stuff Stuff like that. In about a week, I'm moving into my new office space inside of the Fort Collective, which is the new home of Roast Coffee. If you've been here for any amount of time, you've probably heard me talk about Roast Coffee, but uh, the new location is going to have a big facility for any kind of events or meetups that I want to do, and I'm super, super excited about that. There are a lot of people that I talk to on a daily basis that I've never got a chance to hang out with, or I only get to maybe once a year just because we're all kind of scattered, but I would really like to do more kind of meetups and just photography photography events where people from all over can come to Chillicothe, we can meet up at Roast, have a big place to not only have good food and good coffee, but also just nerd out on different cameras and hang out and go on a photo walk. And I really want to do more stuff like that and really kind of bring this big community that's online into real life. Also, I'm sure there are some of you here that are new to my channel. Maybe you came here from Corey's video or Willem's video, but I make videos here on YouTube about film photography, photography in general, lighting, a lot of different things just as a working photographer. Um, the backlog goes back about five and a half years, so I've been doing this for a minute. Uh, if you're interested in checking out the rest of the channel, I would highly appreciate that, and you could subscribe if it looks like something you would be interested in. But definitely check these other guys out as well if you maybe are already familiar with my channel, but you haven't checked out theirs definitely do that they're great people and they're making great content Willem has a great YouTube channel Corey has a great YouTube channel and Lucas is actually about to start his own which I'm super excited about so I'm gonna put links to all their channels and Instagrams down below that way you guys can check them out like I said they're good people they're doing good work and we should all support one another but that's it for today there will actually be a bonus video later this week which I'm pretty excited about but the regular schedule is every Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time there will be a new video so if you're interested in that definitely subscribe but that's it for today so i want to thank you guys for everything thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time when big first, lie right so here when i first started watching willem's channel like my first impressions just watching willem talk i was like i felt like willem while he was talking it was like he was trying not to laugh Dude, everybody still Do you comments get that? that to Do you this really? day. It was like you you were in on something that the audience didn't know about. Like you were like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I was like. Let me get one more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that, sounded, that sounded too slow. One, two, three. It's a little bit better. All right. Wow. Uh, Willem's up. So, Corey, you want to? Willem is like filming a TV commercial. <laughs> Yo. Matt, you're gonna see this footage and be like, wow. Thank you, <laughs> is this just autofocus? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, whatever the focus point is on. We do apologize for the following footage. This is being filmed by Corey Wolfenbarger. <laughs> so, all apologies in advance. <laughs> because Lucas's. <coughs> there's a big streak down the middle of it. 
It looks like Matt Day is not the only person who can hit an <laughs> SX-70. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the only one who can't shoot an SX-70.